Merry Christmas, Burners. Welcome back to Claiborne. So we're invited to a Christmas party. The gifts are all wrapped and sitting under the tree. I thought it would be great fun if we get ready for this party together. Well, tonight I thought we'd start with a pedicure. So when I'm soaking my feet, I'm soaking in rainwater and this is Lavender and Honey by Calgon Bath Beads. And that blue bottle is some homemade calendula oil. And I always have a nail brush. I try to keep my razors new. I just use disposable for shaving my legs. And for shaving my legs, I'm going to be using Dove Deep Moisture Soap. I like it because it doesn't have a real strong scent. And I have one of these old-fashioned uh, man beard shaving brushes. And I just keep everything in an old tin cup. I love that brush. <laughs> I don't know whose it was before me. I got it in an antique store. And I don't know. I don't care. I love the energy. And usually when I'm doing my pedicure, I like to listen to Carol King. And tonight, since it's so close to Christmas, I'm listening to A Christmas Carol. And I just love her smooth jazz. All right, next, I would say, would be the jewelry. Like, you ain't got a thing if your rings ain't got bling. So I only wear these rings, and it takes lotion to get them off. So... I wear two engagement rings as my husband and I have been married twice. Um, but the second time we decided not to get married banded, we decided to get hand fasted and it had a lot deeper, more meaning for us personally. And so I chose to wear both my engagement rings. And then this little pinky ring is Black Hills gold rings. Uh, it's a 10 carat, a 12 carat, I don't know who's who. And uh, this comes from out of North Dakota. These are quite expensive rings. I got mine in a thrift store of all places. And finally, this ring takes lotion to come off. My daughter was 16. I wanted to teach her the value of money. And so I drove her back and forth to her job every single night, picking her up sometimes at 1.30 in the morning, helping her save for her first car. When she got her first car, she had a little extra money and she went out and bought her mama a ring. Okay, and then the way that I clean my rings is again I use rainwater. I use rainwater for everything that I can except drinking pretty much. And then um, I use toothpaste. My daughter, my oldest daughter, showed me this trick. And so just an old toothbrush and some kids toothpaste. And we're just going to scrub these rings. Again, I want you to see how dull they are. Of course, I just put lotion on them. So that's how dull they are. I'll be back in a second and show you their bling. All right, so hopefully you can notice the difference. You can see how the rings pick up the light now and reflect back. That's what you want. While they were off, I did a slight oil treatment on my hands, again with that same calendula oil. All right, trying on the outfit for the party. I love it, it's comfortable, I like the colors. But I gotta do the obligatory butt check and I'm noticing a pretty definite panty line in these pants. Ugh. All right, well, let's just run to Silhouettes and go get a new bra and panty set and see if we can't cure the panty line blues. Okay, so I went to Silhouettes and the lady, I call her the bra Nazi. She will not sell you one of her $100 bras unless she has a bra fitter on the floor. So, I wasn't that upset about it. So I took my unhappy panty lined little backside around the corner and went to this fun and funky little boutique that I love shopping at because I adore the manager. And she and I have so much fun when I'm in that store. So I went ahead and got nail polish, festive for the holidays. That was $11.99 for four. Thought those were pretty. And then I didn't have any earrings for this Christmas party. so. She helped me find these cute little present earrings. They're $6.99. They're little gifts. Aren't those cute? They're so glittery. And then um, as 
far oh is and then i also while i was there i just went ahead and picked up my valentine's my husband always takes me out to valentine's dinner so i went ahead and picked up a valentine's set of earrings for 3.99 big gold hearts i love them and then i found on her clearance rack i found a three dollar and 50 cent bra in the pink leopard and it's got the cute little bow in the front. I think it's adorable. She didn't have any more of the pink leopard panties, but I did get the brown leopard panties to go with it. Who's going to know, right? Okay. And then I put when I, the deals were so good that I went ahead and picked up a double set and I got this cute red one. If I can show it. The cute little red one and it has the bow in front. And then it has a little black one, and those look like cherries, but those are actually hearts. Super, super cute. Okay, and for those, I just got matching black panties, but that won't leave any kind of panty line in these pants. And then the only purses that I carry, I have a Roxy Conceal Carry. Woo, fun for, for parties. <laughs> and then because of the yaw-yaws I hang out with and my workout in the field, I either have slings that I put on my back or backpacks or I carry hippie bags thrown over my shoulder so I didn't exactly have a purse for a party so for six dollars and 25 cents I picked up this cute little purse it's by Sam and Hadley whoever that is and I like the bling I like the shape I like the gold I'm kind of going with gold this year it's kind of fun and then it's got big deep pockets I mean for six bucks come on look at that and it's got a little, little uh, zipper in the back too all right so next we got to do something with this hair I went ahead and took my outfit off because I'm getting ready to wash my hair so uh, you've already seen my color choices for this party so I just got a faded glory really super comfortable shirt uh, one of my grandkids is going to teach me to throw a football and uh, one of my other grandchildren is going to give me her very first makeover. So I chose comfortable clothes, but still festive colors. And then for my husband, I picked out his outfit too. Got him one of these tees. Um, he just never buys color. So I grabbed some color for him. And then we'll have coordinating shirts that day, which I thought is just too cute. And then he got a button up shirt that coordinates because he doesn't really like messing with pullovers if he doesn't have to. All right, two things about my hair. My hair is silver, and so I always use purple shampoo. But for your hair, for styling your hair, if you want, if you want volume at the roots, um, just always the two combs I always use are a pick and a rat tail. And so if you just want volume just at your roots then all of the rest of this will look fluffy too. And so if you just use your mousse, smash it down and apply it with your fingertips right at the roots. You don't wanna pull mousse through the rest of your hair because mousse is very, it's very drying to the hair. It'll make it seem crunchy. Okay, and then when you dry it, you wanna take little sections and you wanna aim your hair dryer at the base but not at your scalp so you want to blow up like that get it just warm it doesn't have to be hot and then use your cold shot to cool it back off or you can just pull the hair dryer away and hold it up for a few seconds let it fall and it'll be really full then you just go down the next section and you do that all the way around and remember to aim up and not at your scalp so you don't get a scalp burn and then with the gel once you finger style your curls which I got a whole lot more finger styling to do. Um, you just want to use some like really, really light spray gel and put that in your hand and then pull that only through the ends of your, of your hair. So it's mousse up here and spray gel for control down here. All right, I feel like I'm properly puffed and fluffed now. And I tried on the earrings with this hairstyle. I really do like it. Actually, before I leave, I may decide to pin back part of my hair. I don't know, that's one of those last minute decisions you kind of make. So as far as makeup goes for this party, I'm a cover girl girl, always have been my whole life. And so for this particular party though, it's B-Y-O-L, B-O-I-O-L. Bring your own lashes, bring your own lipstick. Because I bought my granddaughter her first loaded caboodle of makeup and she's going to be doing my makeover while I'm down there. 
And so I told her I would just wear the base. I would bring some lashes. And of course you want to bring your own lipstick. And I always use these CoverGirl lip stains and the gloss. Now the last thing, a thing I always say for the last because I'm so rough on them, I'm going to be doing my own nails. And again, I mean, it's just something I went to beauty school for. So, you know, I'm not going to pay somebody else to do my nails when I can just sit home and do them myself. So just an off brand of, of glue and my nails, I'll trim them down, glue them on, and then we'll polish them. Remember, when it comes to nails, you polish them. You don't paint them. You paint a fence, you polish your nails. So now we're properly coiffed, dressed, polished, and bedazzled. So from our family to your family, we want to say Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Joey Noel, Malakalikimaki, and all the others. <laughs> Seriously, everybody, may we have peace on earth.